Hi, I'm Catherine Fissy. I joined Intuit in 1992, and I've always worked on QuickBooks. Currently, I'm the product manager for QuickBooks Enterprise Solutions Advanced Inventory. Advanced Inventory helps you to efficiently and accurately manage inventory in multiple locations. Advanced Inventory is built right into QuickBooks Enterprise Solutions. Let's take a look at how it works. When you enter transactions, you'll see that you have a new column in many of the transactions that is for inventory site. In this case, if you imagine you have a, a salesperson who is taking an order from a customer, uh, we'll pick a customer that's in California. And if you have warehouses across the country, you pick an item and you choose the warehouse that's closest to that customer for cheaper shipping, then you can check and see whether there are enough items in that particular warehouse to sell to that customer. In this case, in the San Jose warehouse, there are only three items. And if the, if the customer wanted more than that, then you could either do an internal transfer or you could tell the customer that they could pay a little more in shipping and get it from another warehouse. In this case, let's choose a different warehouse. And then that will be on the sales order. And now those items will be unavailable from that warehouse. Similarly, on the purchase order, when you're buying items for various warehouses, you can still drop ship them to a specific customer, but now you'll be able to tell your vendor which warehouse you want the item shipped to. In this case, let's choose uh, our Atlanta warehouse, and we can put as many items as we want, and have, they will all be shipped to the Atlanta warehouse. If you want to move items internally from one warehouse to another, we now have a uh, inventory transfer transaction. It's called Transfer Inventory right here in the Inventory Activities. And it works just like other QuickBooks transactions. You choose the uh, warehouse that you want to transfer from. In this case, let's say we're moving items from a distribution center, and we're moving them to our service truck who's running low on certain items. Like the other transactions, you choose the items that you want. It will tell you how many you have currently in the distribution center, and then you can decide how many you want to transfer. And again, like in all inventory transactions, you can choose this small icon, and it will show you how many items you have in each place so you can decide how many you want to move. We've added a number of new reports to support the inventory locations. Many of them are under the inventory menu. The first, probably most important one that many people want to see is the quantity on hand by site. This shows you, for all of your items, how many items you have on hand in each location. If you are somebody who focuses on one location primarily, we've added this tool to the uh, toolbar for reports so that you can choose just one or a few locations to see the report. Now it's filtered for just the Atlanta warehouse. Another report that's uh, very commonly used by inventory companies is the stock status report, and we have a new inventory stock status by site report. Again, this, this defaults to a report that shows all inventory locations and all items. But if you're somebody who is a purchaser for one of the warehouses, for example, you can filter this report by any of the locations again and see just the items that need to be ordered for one particular location. In addition to adding new reports, we also added a filter to most detail reports so that you can filter them by location. Let's take a look at one to see how this works. If you go to Sales Reports, you can see in the Sales by Customer Detail Report, this is all of your sales by, by customers. But again, if you go to Modify Report and the filters, you'll see that there is a new filter for Inventory Site. If you choose that, you can choose to show multiple inventory sites or just pick one and see what were your customer sales like that came out of that one particular warehouse. As you can see, Advanced Inventory is built right into QuickBooks and works exactly the way you're used to working with QuickBooks now. Advanced Inventory requires QuickBooks Enterprise Solutions version 11 and an active full service plan. To learn more, call us at 866-379-6635 or contact your local Intuit solution provider.